I am now stood outside the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. I have been looking forward to going inside uh, ever since I booked my trip to DC. So this is the one that's in downtown Washington, so it's not the one near the airport that actually has the space shuttle, but I'm sure there's going to be lots of really cool stuff inside, so let's go explore. This is what the first airplane looked like by the infamous Wright brothers. And a fun fact, when Sputnik was made, the very first spacecraft, this plane was younger than Sputnik is now today. As cool as all of these planes are, and there are some really cool ones here, I geek out way more on space stuff. So I'm gonna focus on that. This is where it all really began for the Americans. Mercury Friendship 7, well, this is a model of it, was their first crewed spacecraft, which did three orbits back in 1962 with John Glenn on board, followed in 1965 by Gemini 4, which allowed the first spacewalk. So I've seen models of the lunar lander before, but that one's actual size. Pretty sure the one in the Science Museum in London is a bit smaller. There were just so many full-size replicas here. Like this, depicting the Apollo Soyuz test project mission. And Skylab, one of the very first crewed space stations made out of a stage of a Saturn V rocket. I don't think until right now have I really grasped quite how big the Hubble Space Telescope actually is. Look at that thing. That's actual size. I love this comparison of just in the sizes of the Voyager space probes, which are now both outside of the heliosphere, to their fairly recent cousin, New Horizons. Now, in this museum, there are necessarily quite a lot of replicas, but that is an actual Soyuz capsule. And the thing that strikes me is just how charred it really is. You know, we see those sort of fireballs when things come in for re-entry and shockwaves that heat up the air so much, but I never expected it to be quite that black on the outside. And not only does this museum have the history of air and space flight, it also contains our future. Okay, well, maybe not. No, that's just the original studio model of the Enterprise from Star Trek. Literally the one they used for the opening credits of the show. How cool is that? 